Infinity Frequencies, You and Me, Guitar Tab and Guitar Lesson. Let's jam through all the sections right off the top here, and after that I'll go back through, give you a little more guided explanation. Before we get into all that, pretty please hit that subscription button. Gives me a good indication that you're enjoying these types of videos. And no further ado, let's get on to the song. For starters, we get this palm muted little picking thing. Sounds pretty cool. And we're just hanging out, you know, right in this area here, the first and third frets. And we'll be on the D and G string. And we're just gonna hit the G at the first fret. Just these little plucked muted notes. Okay, hit it, slight hesitation, couple more. All right, then we go a quick one, three on the D. Back to the one on the G. Slight hesitate, hit the one again, and then three on the D. All right, and you can carry that one out quite a bit, and every once in a while we slip in this little bit where it's all pretty much the same, but the final part there, instead of just going one to three, we go uh, slide that one G up to three G, then to the three D. It's just a subtle little thing you can uh, toss in there every so often. All right, now getting into the chords here. This is kind of a combination of, you know, like hitting the bass note and kind of what the little key synth stuff is doing. Um, the initial progression, it does a first set of four, then a second set of four. That's a slight variant. And uh, it goes something like this. Well, we'll start at the uh, B flat. And, you know, you really want to hit this one on the high E with it. So uh, we could shape it like this. All right, and then from there, we're going to uh, switch it over to D flat six, which you can basically keep your middle and ring finger right in the same spot and then just shift these two. Okay, so basically we're going to come down to a, a two on the B with the pointer and hit the bass note with the four on uh, the A here. And like I said, the three stay on the uh, D and G. Okay, cool sound and voicing there. Then we'll just shift over, take the pinky, and make it the four on the D, so we get like the bottom half of a F sharp here. Okay, we got our four D, three G, two on the B. All right, and then we just come off to just threes on the D and G for part of the F suspended chord. So that's the first set of four in the initial intro and verse section. Um, we go back to our B flat again, uh, but now we do this other voicing of the D flat six where we just come all the way up to the four A and then just make sixes all the way down through the D, G, B, and E. Okay, I really want to emphasize this six on the high E there. All right, 
move over to this F add nine shape here. Uh, basically kind of that same bottom half of the F sharp that we did with the 4D, 3G, 2B there. But then just like add a pinky onto the fours of the high E. Right. And then we end up on an F7 sus, which is pretty simple, just threes on the D and G and then just add a four on the B. And once the vocal riff and the sax riff come along, um, we get kind of a, a little shuffle of the progression. Um, basically, we just do the last half of that initial four that we did. So just the, uh, the F sharp and the F sus, you know, so we just do our four, three, two to threes. And then we go through the, the full second half, you know, the B flat, D flat six to our F sharp add nine. F7 sus at the threes with the four. And then we just repeat that last half again. It's just kind of an interesting little adjustment that happens. And we can mimic the sax riff real nice here. We're just bouncing around in this area with the uh, B string. Do a six, four, six. Seven, back to six. Kind of hold that a moment. And then we do a four, six, eight on the D. Okay, start again with the six, four, six B. Come up high to the six E, back to the six B. Hold that a moment, and then go four, six B. And finishing with the outro sax riff here. Um, drop down to this section here where we're three on the G, hit a one E back to the three on the G. Four B. Slide the one E up to four and then back down to one. 